Air conditioner compressor versus condenser, what's the difference? The air conditioning compressor is a vital component of the AC system, often referred to as the heart of the air conditioner. It pumps refrigerant through the air conditioning system to cool air inside the home. The compressor is located inside the central AC unit known as the condenser unit. How an air conditioner compressor works. The compressor receives the refrigerant after it has absorbed the heat from the home's air. At this point, the refrigerant is a warm, low-pressure vapor. The refrigerant will eventually circulate back inside the house to repeat the heat removal cycle. But first, the refrigerant must be returned to a cold, liquid state. The compressor performs the initial step in the cooling process, applying energy until the refrigerant becomes a hot, high-pressure vapor. Using heat and pressure on the refrigerant serves two purposes. One, the refrigerant must be heated to a temperature higher than the outside air to release its heat as it travels through the condenser's coils. Two, the pressurization allows the refrigerant to flow smoothly through the coils. After the compressor heats and pressurizes the refrigerant, it flows to the condenser and the heat is removed. An AC condenser releases heat that the refrigerant has removed from the home's air. The condenser is the main unit located outside the home. It resembles a box encased in thin metal fins. The compressor removes heat from refrigerant vapor, turning the refrigerant back to a liquid as it cools. How a condenser works. After the compressor applies energy to the refrigerant, the hot, high-pressure refrigerant vapor is released into the condenser. The surface of the condenser is covered in coils, usually made of copper. The refrigerant moves through the coils while the condenser fan supplies cool air. The air cools the refrigerant in the coils, and the metal fins outside of the unit conduct the heat away and into the outside air. The refrigerant condenses as it cools, becoming a liquid. Finally, the refrigerant flows into the expansion valve, which reduces the refrigerant's pressure, cooling it further. Once the refrigerant returns to a cold, liquid state, it can return to the evaporator coils to cool the home's air.